everybody, it's Bunny, and it is time for this week's Pinter Test Challenge. This week, we're gonna try and make a snack because Easter is coming, so I thought we would try and make something cute, edible, and festive. What we're gonna be trying to make today are these Nutter Butter Chicks. Wow, iPhone, just swibbity swooping all over the place. You take Nutter Butter cookies and you make tiny little chicks on sticks. And I thought that this was kind of like a perfect thing because even if you don't celebrate Easter, uh, chickens are still fun and cookies are still delicious. Anyway, let's head on down to the kitchen and see if we can make something that looks like a chicken. I don't know where I was gonna go with that statement. Before we get started though, I would like to point out, look at, look at how epically sassy my sassy bun is today. Look at that. <laughs> it's so like springy. <gasps> oh, and it's spring. Perfect. All right, let's just jump right into that voiceover action. First of all, I'm gonna tell you guys what you're gonna need to make this on your own. You're gonna need some Nutter Butter cookies, which are delicious on their own, even when they're not in chickeny kinds of forms. You're also gonna need some popsicle sticks, because this is what turns them into chicks on sticks. You need some candy melts, preferably in the color yellow. I found these at Joann's craft store, but I think you can get them at some select grocery stores. Don't know which ones those would be. You also need sprinkles in a kind of conical shape. These are going to be their beaks. I almost said beards. Chickens with beards would be kind of strange. You're also going to need some black writing gel or icing, and these are for their chicken pupils. And you're also gonna need Reese's Pieces, which are for their wings and their feet. You're also gonna need some utensils, like a bowl that is safe to put in the microwave and some wax paper to make like a nice little workstation. And you're also gonna need some paper towels because this is quite a messy endeavor. First thing you're gonna do is take some wax paper and you're gonna spread it out on the table. And how about this pink, beautiful plastic tablecloth I got just for this video. I got it from the dollar store. So once you have that all situated, you're gonna move on to unpackaging the Nutter Butters. And I'm gonna try and make like six chickens today. I feel like that's gonna be hard enough. So here I am removing six Nutter Butters from the package. Then you're gonna take them popsicle sticks and on the thickest part of the cookie, which is kind of like a thing you have to find, you're gonna try and gently wedge the stick into the peanut butter cookie so that you don't like, like make it all fall apart. You know what I mean? Once you've got that done, you're gonna start melting some candy things. And I left these in my trunk, so it was so like hard and melted together, it broke a plastic spoon. I moved on to using one of them sticks to dish out some chocolate. So I'm gonna just pop this in the microwave, and while it's microwaving, I'm gonna go ahead and start separating out their beaks and feet and all of that jazz. So for each chicken, you need two orange Reese's Pieces, and that is for their feet, and you also need two yellow Reese's Pieces, and that is for the wings. Then you're gonna need to open them conical shaped sprinkles, and you're gonna dump all those out because you're only looking for the orange ones, because quite apparently chickens have orange beaks. Is this true? I've never looked at a chicken closely enough. Let me tell you what you don't want to do. You don't want to over microwave the chocolate because I accidentally put it in the microwave for five minutes and I started a small kitchen fire and that was a lot of fun. And literally hours later, my kitchen still smells like burning sugar chocolate. It's pretty disgusting. I had to start all over with a whole new batch of chocolate in a whole new bowl and I melted it for like 30 seconds at a time to kind of get a creamy consistency. The other thing that I found out totally doesn't work at all. In the pins, it always looks like they took the whole cookie and dumped the whole thing in chocolate, but I don't know how people do that because when I tried to do that, like it made the peanut butter so soft that the whole thing just melted and slid off of the stick, which is no good at all. So what I did is I took another popsicle stick and used it in kind of a spatula type fashion and just kind of tried to neatly and evenly spread the yellow chocolate on just the front side of the cookie. And I guess it looks just as good. You know, it depends on if you have like picky party guests, I guess. Ooh, that's like a rhyme, picky party guests. I covered all six 
Chicks on sticks. Actually, we're down to five now because I totally lost that one to fire or some misfortune. After you have them all covered with chocolate, you're going to go ahead and start sticking their feet on there, which is a really easy process. I just dipped the Reese's Pieces in a little bit of the melted chocolate and then adhered it to the chocolate on the front of the Nutter Butter. And then I went through and I put their beaks on there. And that was pretty easy, but let me tell you what's not easy and what's a total fail. Sticking the wings on the chickens. And when I got done with these, I looked at some more pins and I'm noticing more often than not, you see Nutter Butter chickens with feet and no wings. So on one of them, I decided to just, you know, kind of give up, but still make it look nice. So I took the black icing and I drew some wings on there. It looks pretty neat. I'm gonna have to say that these don't exactly look like the chickens in the pens. I don't know what kind of Martha Stewart people they get to accomplish these things. And you know what I kind of think they look like? Do you guys remember those stress reliever dolls from the 90s? They're kind of weird. They had some certain name. I'm gonna have to Google it, but you like squeeze the doll and their eyes popped out. That's kind of what mine look like. But they are cute. They are festive. And I don't think any of my friends or family would care exactly what the cookies look like. I think you can like get a point that they're supposed to be chickens, right? I don't know. What do we think? Do we think that this one was a success or a massive fail? You guys just tell me down below. So here is my completed chicken. I think it looks cute. Do I get an A for effort at least? I'm gonna have to say even though it was kind of like a trial by error and I did make some chocolate explode, it was still a pretty fun process. Thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me and for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a long time since I've like gotten the kitchen and done anything snacky. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings or a chicken its wings because these chickens needed wings. I don't know how people stick the little Reese's Pieces on the side. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!